Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Today is September 11th, 2022. It is the Lord's Day. It is Sunday. Getting ready for church. And I'm going to be reading to you from the devotional book, Jesus Calling. <clears throat> oh, September 11th. Rejoice in me always. No matter what is going on, you can rejoice in your love relationship with me. This is the secret of being content in all circumstances. So many people dream of the day when they will finally be happy when they are out of debt, when their children are out of trouble, when they have more leisure time, and so on. When they daydream, their moments are trickling into the ground like precious bomb spilling wastefully from overturned bottles. Fantasizing about future happiness will never bring fulfillment. Let me lift this up a little bit. Because fantasy is unreality. Even though I am invisible, I am far more real than the world you see around you. My reality is eternal and unchanging. Bring your moments to me, and I will fill them with vibrant joy. Now is the time to rejoice in my presence. Here are the verses. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. That is Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 and 12. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. That is Psalm 102 verse 27 though you have though you have not seen him you love him and even though you do not see him now you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy that is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. The story of Paul in the Bible. Saul turned to Paul after the road, his uh, encountering the Lord on the road to Damascus, where he was going, by the way, to kill his Christians. He encountered the Lord. And... Um, He's never been the same since. He has been fighting to bring the gospel to both Jews and Gentiles. So in Philippians, he was in jail when he wrote this. He was a wealthy man, gave it all up, and so he's been in need. So he has learned to be content whether he's being taken care of by people or not. Whether he has uh, plenty or he's in need. Whether he's fed or he's hungry, he has learned to be content. And the story of Paul just amazes me. 
because most of the books he has written, he was in uh, under arrest, either house arrest or actually in prison when he wrote them. But it says in here in our devotional, rejoice in me always. To always find our joy. And joy is not determined by our circumstances. That's a hard one. That was a hard one for me to learn. Still is. But no matter what our circumstances are, we can always find joy in our Savior. I thank you all for listening, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. If you like it, please share it out. I hope you have a wonderful day, and may God bless you all. If you have a prayer need, you can leave it in the or comment section down below, or email it to me. My email is in the description box below this video, and every video I do. Please, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you're doing. Thank you. Bye for now.